Hello and welcome back to an Oasis BBS video. Today we're at Desert Fox's workbench and we are going to open up the newly received Commander X16 computer. Join us for this unboxing. Opening the box that I have been waiting for. <laughs> Many moons. Package slip with everything in it. I would think there'd be a personalized letter. Dear Roy, we have your money. <laughs> All right, so taking the packing out. First keyboard. box is the keyboard. Let's take a look. Here, I'll tell you what. Let me take everything out, then we'll take it apart. Kind of hold it up for the camera there. This is the power supply. Uh -huh. Ooh, never seen that before. Now the Mac Daddy. Zooming in here. Quick setup. Nice. Right about there. There we go. These are my chips. Mm -hmm. Yep. Perfect. A gig chip. Then my baby. There it is. Number 638. There you go. Okay. Let's take a look here. So we have our Nintendo controllers there. Hold on, keep it at that angle. That come down here. You zoom in. Give me the whole face plate. Nope, nope, put it back down. There you go, just hold it. Looking good, Billy Ray. Okay. See anything on the bottom? They've got some writing and everything. Got it? Good. Okay. And here's the moment of truth. DF is turning that on for the first time. Everything looks great. Gotta love that instant load. You'll notice here as we zoom in, it is uh, clipped off uh, to the left a little bit. And in the next still, we'll show you a fix for that. There you go. Uh, Degaussing worked on the monitor. However, there's also a command called screen 11 that you can use for manipulating the screen borders. So everything's good to go there. Got a few more stills for you. First, here's a close-up of the keyboard. This is a, a nice uh, kind of throwback keyboard. It's got a soft touch, PS2 connection. I like the keys on this a lot better than the, the chiclet keys that everybody's using nowadays. Here's the contents of the box. You'll notice the expanded memory pack is up there on the, the left. And on the right, you'll see the Pico adapter for the power supply. Here's a little bit closer shot of that. You can also see the serial number pretty well on the keyboard here, number 638. It's nice to have a board here that's from the original batch. And finally, here's a, a shot of the board with all of the extended memory plugged into it. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon.